down because it was overrun with roaches. Others that had ants mold utensils not clean for a week. It is a tie for the dirtiest dining tonight. Here's Contact 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears. Strangest things happen in dirty dining. Right? A customer asks the person in charge at Ramen Ya to take our picture as she gets ready to answer our questions about the restaurant's 33 demerit C grade. Ramen Ya is the second eatery in the Grand Bazaar shops at Bally's on the Strip to be on dirty dining. Inspectors wrote up improper hand washing, vegetables in the temperature danger zone, and that cork board up there had three health permits, an A grade, a B grade, and a C grade before, and now there's only an A grade up there. The other two grade cards are not posted. There were also utensils in standing water and bugs. And there was a concern with the ants, right? Uh, yes. Inspectors found ants on lids of bulk dry containers, but didn't see any getting into food. There was also an excessively soiled scoop used for bulk dry flour. Why would there have been a flour scoop that hadn't been cleaned in a week still in use? It's a mystery to you too, huh? Yes. Perhaps most concerning is this note in the report saying Ramen Ya has a repeated history of failing unannounced inspections and an inability to control food safety risks over the long term. Junko blames that on employees. So the workers, uh, they, they, they don't follow the, the direction, right? She says some of those workers were fired. The, New workers uh, start working, so they follow the rules now. So And remember the missing grade cards? And then where's your C grade? It was up there before, but it's not there now. She pulls them out from behind an ad. You guys know you can't hide those, right? The other 33 demerit C grade was at Pupuceria El Zunzal on Decatur and Lake Mead. Here, a food handler grabbed ready-to-eat pupusas with her bare hands. Inspectors say the person in charge was not knowledgeable about basic food safety or personal hygiene. Kitchen staff put us on the phone with the owner. You don't think that you deserve 33 demerits? She says the health inspectors are too strict. And you're going to ask to talk to a supervisor so you can understand why there were problems and demerits? Their problems included multiple foods at unsafe temperatures and take a look inside their ice machine. How did it get like that? How come there was so much mold in there? Every three months is the cleaning service. Is that enough? Judging by the photos, the answer would be no. Inspectors also found ants crawling on a wall in the food prep area. You're saying there was only one ant? And a food handler working with a counterfeit health card. We leave you with an imminent health hazard closure at Pho Kitchen on Spring Mountain and Rainbow. Inspectors shut it down due to live multi-generational German cockroaches in food prep areas. There were dead ones too, and it wasn't Pho Kitchen's first infestation. The health report documents roaches on multiple days back in May. There were also heavily soiled wiping cloths, grease buildup under the cook line, and dirty floors. According to the health district, Pho Kitchen is still closed and Pupuceria El Zunzal still has a C. Ramen Ya is back to all A grades. Darcy Spears, 13 Action News.